Hello guys, uh, welcome to Kumar Consulting. So guys, here uh, now, so in this session, I'll explain one more error. Pretty simple error is there, guys, and solution is also quite simple, but still, I'll tell you, it's going to be simple and easy for those who know about this. But the people who doesn't uh, have any idea about this one, who don't know anything about this one, then also, of course, for them, uh, it's it's very, uh, what do you say, uh, difficult to proceed further uh, if, if they don't get the solutions at all. So, one of my students has uh, sent me this screenshot. Just, the, the screenshot, I think it is a bit difficult uh, for you people to see. So, now, look at here, this is what the error message, the country code not assigned, uh, company code not assigned to the country or calculations procedure. Very simple, what it say, this error is there, guys. You are specified. The, if you double click on the error message, you will be getting this error message number also. This is related to what, guys? This is related to, uh, of course, uh, tax uh, configurations and calculations. Uh, now, I'll just do one thing. I'll, I'll just explain what is the solution for this error because, again, going into a detail uh, like how and why it is taking place and all. So, for that, certain logic is there. If you do the configurations for uh, tax, and let's suppose you are uh, you have created any tax procedure, and if it is not assigned to the country code, right? So then this error is going to appear. So I'll just show you people here, like FDL zero two. The company code already is specified. So I'll just give, and uh, this company code belongs to. Uh, Pakistan, so the currency is PKR. I'll specify here the GL code, and this is what the error company code not assigned to the country or country to calculation procedure. So, here, what is the solution for this? You have to go to OBBG transaction code, BG transaction, OBBG transaction code, and first of all, give your country code and check any calculation procedure is assigned or not here so this is related to cap tax configurations lots of things are there to uh, learn in this tax related configurations guys but again as i said like this is uh, in this session i'm just explaining the solutions of this error because it's huge and huge topic if you talk about the taxes multiple things are there in the picture and there are lots of things are there to explain but uh, now in this session i'll just provide the solution Assign any tax procedure here and save it. That's it. So we have assigned a calculation procedure here against the country code, whichever your country is there, right? Against that country code, you assign any tax procedure, uh, whatever you created, that you have to assign. If you're not able to remember, because this is just a general, uh, what we say, transaction he is posting, just GV he is posting, right? So in that case, uh, you can assign other tax procedure also if you are not able to remember what is your tax procedure. Generally, here in drop down box, you can click and you can check it. Now, so what I have done. Okay. So now I have assigned, press enter here. Okay, so once again, use F02, transaction code. Give the dates, GL account. Press and turn. Now it is. Now it is fine. Let me check it. There is the bank deal. Press enter. Start. Now it is working fine. Save it. Okay. So when I am going to save it, uh, there is an error called. There is no item category assigned to this account. I'll tell you guys. There is a logic behind this one also. This is related to document splitting, right? Why this error is appearing? Uh, as I said, there is a logic because this GL account is not assigned somewhere against the item category. When uh, uh, like document splitting again, a separate topic, guys. There are a lot more things to know there also. So here I'll tell you what is the solution for this error. As of now, right? Uh, this is not the permanent solution actually. If you are going to, uh, if you have idea about the document splitting and all, it's okay. If not, then for temporary purposes, what do you have to do? Go to SPRO. And you just do one thing. Because uh, for that, like somebody has activated document splitting here, right? 
so for this company code what is happening guys the configuration for document splitting is incomplete so in that case in the sense he has not done the configurations uh, that are related to document splitting so that is why this error is appearing so simply look at here spro then financial accounting new and then general ledger accounting new here you will be having where is the document splitting guys it is here ledgers ledger Okay, I forgot. What happened, guys? I forgot the steps. No, it's not here. I think it's it's, it's here itself. Uh, where it is with me? Ah, yes, it is in a uh, business traffic. It happens sometimes, right? Uh, sure, document is ready. So you have to expand this one and then activate document is ready. So, what is happening, guys? Somebody has activated this document is ready functionality. But for this particular company code, again, it is logged by somebody. So what we have to do, if the screen is logged by someone, then you have to unlock this, okay? And use SM12 transaction code to unlock this. If you don't fix this error, then choices, you can just click on that and you can deactivate the document distributing functionality. Oh, it's getting hanged. Just wait for a second. Look at here. It is, of course, multiple users are there. I'll just do one thing. I'll delete all. And okay. Now let me try here. Okay. So here, what you have to do, you have to remove the check mark from here either you can apply it remove the check mark from here or is deactivation per company code from here also you can from here also you can remove like uh, you can uh, deactivate for your co particular company code in that case what happened even if somebody is going to apply a check mark here then it's okay uh, then won't be any impact on your company code so i'll just remove the check mark from here itself and save it right the only drawback is like if you remove the check mark from here and in a single server if you are using online server then multiple users will be there so if you have removed the check mark and at the same time somebody is doing configuration for document splitting right so after some time what is happening most likely another user is going to activate one second so what is happening you guys are going to receive you are going you you are going to get error right but there is a drawback here that there is a problem here so if you're going to deactivate for company code so sometime it happens sometime it is not happening why because again additional error is going to appear and that is related to fund management and all if you like uh, they are 99 or something right so let me save it it got saved it got saved there is no error so if, if you guys are going to because something what happens system will throw uh, some error related to commitment item and all so now that is that logic is not possible to explain here because again there is a different logic behind that right so if it is going to be if it is uh, activate deactivated here then what is happening then whether it is activated at this level or not that doesn't matter right because you have deactivated for your company good right so even if somebody has activated here there is no any impact Right, so always try to deactivate for your company code first. And if it is not possible, if you are going to get any error, in that case, you can deactivate at this level. Right, then uh, see, I'll tell you guys generally, whatever activity we are performing behind each and everything, there is a logic. Right, there is a reason, there is a root cause. Right, so that you have to understand to become a consultant, or else simple configurations means nothing will happen. Right. Now I'll just save it. So incorrect automatic testing for answer. Why? Uh, let me save once again. No item category. So I'll just once again I'm going to enter this transaction code to refresh this screen because the configurations in the sense changes we have made just now. So now I'll do once again and here start. Wait, everything is fine, just save it. 
So now it got posted. It got posted. So this is what whenever uh, you have like this kind of issues and all simply you have to follow the steps whatever I explained here. 